Okay, as I wanted to the comprehensive tutorial on how to use create very very simple block uh, uh, blocks if you know what I mean block bricks I think they're called I'm not too sure so it's a bit more complicated than uh, just using uh, using the style extension these are block set extensions and yeah it's a bit more complicated so usually a bootstrap everything in bootstrap in columns has to be called 12 so if you wanted a column with six if you wanted a column with like say half and half then you'd have one column named uh named six and uh then you have another column named six as well so they equal 12 so they both be even and it's saying if you wanted you'd have nine and then three that would work the same so you'd have a really big one on one side smaller one on the other so that's the way bootstrap works and yeah so i'm going to show you one i've opened here here's a very simple one and in fact that's what we're going to use today uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to open up your favorite text editor as usual uh, Here you go minus brackets and you want to create a new brand new file And we're going to command f3 Open up your thing and we're going to copy this Command c i'm going to copy it into into bootstrap into block here uh, bracket sorry and i'm going to explain What it is so let's get rid of this Here we go and uh so what we want to do is first var set name. So this is a variable in JavaScript. Then you want to set name equals, and then so we're going to call this one. Uh, we're going to call this demo block, and yeah, and so they want to go, they get a variable HTML array equals. Then we have a square bracket open, and this is your first kind of extension, I do believe. And so this is the one I'm going to get rid of this here. Because it's the second extension. Uh, get rid of this here. So what this is is row. So that says everything has to start with row in between your uh, your colons here. Then you want to do plus to add something else. Column twelve. So this creates one big band, and of event. So it's created a big band. It's then going to fill it with an image because it's the image tag. Now, first, let me show you. Uh, this really really helps here. Uh, where is it here? HTML shortcodes. This is a lifesaver. So under here, this has changed a bit actually since I looked at it. It was a white document last time. So basically, when you add one of these, if we go on to row here, row, it creates div class row. So it, it shortens all of this. And when you have col uh, tc, tol, col to center, that will create a top col column of two. So and that would create that, for example. So any of these numbers here, you can have a column up to C, col 7, col 8, col 6. They're all here, all possibilities. So for this one, col 12 creates a column of uh, size 12. And then when you want to add it, you can then go on to here. So you can add header 3, my title. That will create a, well, it will create a title, really. So let's go back into here, and I'll explain more. So header to my title. This is the demo here. This is what it's going to explain. Uh, display soon display we're just going to call it uh, uh, demo here and this will it, this is what I explain header from one to three to four I think to six so any of these numbers so I've got two but you can set it to one two three four five six that varies the size of the header it's then going to do a para paragraph uh, ipsum and then c tag c tag closes the div so that's basically the end the end of everything is where you want to put c tag and that APSC ends everything. If we go on to here, you'll see uh, if we go down M Ipsum, Lorem Ipsum times 27 words. So on Ipsum, you get 42 words. Uh, M underscore Ipsum, you get 27 and 11. So you can set them to how many words you want. I've simply set it to just the standard Ipsum, which is 42. And here you go, head of six, all the way up to six. Here you go, text images. And you can do it with image as well. You can do image, image placeholder, placeholder user. So many images here, wide, round, uh, icon, single round text. Uses a lot here. You can even do a video and a video, a wide video if you wanted, a 16 by 9 video. Then add all you can even add your own form as well. You can program your own form in there and then miscellaneous. You've got iframe, then you've got span, not very useful dividers. So you can have a divider in there as well if you really wanted to. Uh, but basically you're able to do absolutely loads with this. And as you can see, here's something that's uh, found on the website. But yeah, so now we're gonna carry on, just want to end it. Uh, and yes yeah, var and then what you do is var image array now this is the second bit that I want to explain so we go to my desktop going to go into pricing table one I made earlier in your file where you want to save this I'm going to create a brand new folder uh, sorry I'm going to call it uh, what are we going to call it I'm going to call it uh, 
demo from the other folder in I'll ignore this bit you'll then copy these images in now these are images that you need to produce in order to make the blocks blocks work so for each user interface image you need an icon now this needs this all appear in the thing so 12 by 12 for example they've got option asset one low res option and then you've got a high res option for people running with a retina display uh not so we need to include both anyway uh you want to make these look good as uh they uh, kind of are the they make what it looks they make them look quite cool so that's where you want you want your uh you want your uh, things to look good. If we have a look here in photo, they uh, they look quite cool, don't they? The icon. If you have a look here, it's just a small little uh, thing here. If I can get this to load, I've just gone plus 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 plus. See, that's all it is. It's just a uh, square with a gap in it. Oh, basically, that is roughly what this is going to look like. So let's give it a go. So what we want to do is go back into brackets, and you want to go file, save as. You want to save this in your demo in this you want to call it uh, core.js to know it's a .js file so you want to save it in it but outside of the images file and here you go this is when it recognizes it all when close this down uh, minimize this then want to go into blocks as per usual load it up go on to new go on to dev tools then want to compile extension now here's where it changes from the start extension usually if you would create a start extension you click on your thing click on the core.js it would compile it but this is different now for if you wanted to just do a blocks extension a block extension uh, then you want to click on the actual file that's in so i'm going to click on demo and then open that and then it'll see there's a core js and an images file in there and that's how it'll know the difference between a core js file and a a style extension or block extension so there we go open up and it'll say demo has been successfully exported into a blocks extension now that's what you want go on command f3 you get your demo.bex here Double click on that, it'll then has been successfully installed. If you click on blocks, you'll see this special icon here on the end. That's where your uh, thing goes. For some reason, it hasn't appeared in mine. Um, very strange. I'm not sure why it's happened. It's probably because I've called the images something else and they haven't appeared in there. That's probably why I go I'm just going to go and investigate here. Let's have a look. I probably have. You know me. I've probably called. Have I've probably called the images slash block one dot PMG see it finds them okay which is always good uh, but I'm not sure why that oh it was the demo in it that was where still finds them okay slightly weird but uh, yeah so this is why we're gonna add in the pricing table so you see image header plus C tag uh, so for this one so because that doesn't seem to have worked we're going to close the blocks down as well we're going to reopen it just to double check it's really really buggy but usually it does seem to work out okay in the end uh not sure why the extension hasn't worked uh one way you can go and actually check to see if it has worked is if you go into macintosh hd then go into your users go on to here go into the library open a new tab they got application support find blocks go on to uh, blocks and demo and you see this is where your core js and the images folder are and i've just realized so as i finally realized out what the realized what the problem actually was why everything wasn't really working that well it was because uh, i actually didn't have the uh, kind of the blocks installed correctly which is a bit strange but yeah i didn't really follow this entirely the way it should have been followed so yeah that's why that didn't seem to work but anyway i think i've fixed it now so uh, that's always good so I'm gonna now I've saved this as on my code.js file I'm gonna go back into blocks I'm then going to compile my new extension of uh, demo hopefully this will work now successfully compiled if we go into here go in here successfully installed here we go and oh, this is a bit strange but we've got two of these extensions for some reason I can't get the images to work as well if I just do a cheeky relaunch here hopefully I will be able to get them to relaunch but uh, yeah it's strange yeah we got one here and that is what it produces pretty much can't get the images to work so far but i've been trying for a bit but you if you play around sure it's probably a bug in my version uh or it's not a bug at all it's probably just me being silly uh but yeah that's how you can get blocks extensions that's what this works make sure you have this cuss 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 cut them 
custom block set. There we go. Uh, if I just give this a cheeky save here. Not sure why that was different. And then this way you can see it picks up the images fine. Uh, I'm not sure why it doesn't in real life as well. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next tour. Remember, if you're not a Patreon member, go and become one. Really, really useful. Really, really cool. Really, really good. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.